तो देशियोर टेल्स अस अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द बिजनेस बाय कंपेयरिंग द रेशियोस से ओवर टाइम और से ओवर कंपटीटर्स यू कैन अराइव एट अ कंक्लूजन और अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द कंपनी से रेशियो एनालिसिस इज ऑलवेज रिलेटिव पेट मार्जिन से पेट मार्जिन इज वन रेशियो व्हिच इज व्हाट पेट बाय सेल्स पेट बाय सेल्स इफ आई से दैट दिस कंपनी पेट बाय सेल्स और पेट मार्जिन इज 10% can you infer anything on that but if i say that the pet margin of this company is 10% and the pet margin of the competitor is say 8% then can we infer yes we can infer at least to some extent that the profit margin of the company is much better than the his competitors or if i say that the pet margin for this company in the year 2014 is 10% and the last year the pet margin of the company was 12% so we can infer that the profitability of the company have reduced in 2014 as compared to earlier years so just as we have given in the example of the report card is that we have to analyze the report card from some relative perspective maybe how the children have progressed over last year that is uh, <coughs> over time or how the children is performing with or with his peer friends in the class or we have set a benchmark that he wanted that uh, he should attain a a plus in history but how much he have uh, attained whether a minus c plus so it's like a pre determined our own internal benchmark and then segments similarly in the company we analyze the performance of the company with the help of ratio analysis over time how they have done with respect to their historical financials peers how they have done with the respect of the competitors industry uh, how they have done over, uh, against the overall average of all the players operating in the industry benchmark may be the internal benchmark of certain company and of course the segments which is more important if a company is operating in various business segments uh which is there so one of the most important thing is analyzing the business okay so in order to analyze the company or the financial statements of the company it is very very important to understand the business as the legendary warren buffett have said that analyzing the substance and character of the business is holy grail of investing we will uh, delve into it now this session would be slightly interactive so i would request all of you if you have any answers etc to reply through a chat window okay say there is a small quiz I want you to guess what is the company or if you are not able to guess the company name then at least you can have, tell me what are the characteristics of this company okay say this is a live example that the revenue of the firm is say 29 7000 crores profit is 357 crores the asset employed for the for, uh, for attaining that revenue is 7300 crores and the owner's capital is invested is 2000 crores so first we need to see what are the <coughs> characteristics of this financial statements see pet margin of 1.28% 
on the face of it is it high or low you can reply your answers uh by chat somebody have said that this is an asset heavy company might be a manufacturing company say if i say the asset turnover in this case is 4.04 generally i have seen that in manufacturing company in most of the manufacturing company the asset turnover is not so high and uh, also just to reply in asset or heavy manufacturing company the margins are slightly higher <coughs> okay so one of them have said that it's a highly leveraged company so the leverage is 3.77 uh just to give a clarifications here the leverage is not debt by equity here the leverage is my total assets which is employed over my equity so here the assets would be a functions of my own capital my loan funds and also the current assets and liabilities okay so this leverage do not confuse it with debt equity where we only say the long term or outside debt by equity here in leverage the working capital which is current liabilities is also in this one and roe is 20% which is the average roe one of you have said this that this might be a consumer durable companies okay you are very very close actually it is uh, uh, now uh, somebody of you of you have said it's a consumer durable companies and i am saying that you are very very close to it okay just now try to guess this company i am giving you an example that it is a uh it has something to do with apple iphones wipro no wipro <coughs> wipro uh, revenues are much higher and wipro it is into uh software service provider not the this one itc no way itc does not have reddington excellent this company is reddington reddington is the supplier and distributors of the smartphones and it hardware products in india and abroad the company offers a multiple regional supply chain services and cater to the distributions of technology products in india in fact they produce uh, they sell or distribute not only uh iphones or phones but also they are the large distributors of say ipads uh computers laptop etc so i can say that the reddington business is a business of wholesaler and wholesale trading they do not retail it they provide i can say that they may be the forwarding agents or they may be the exclusive distributors for many of these company so their model works more of a wholesale kind of model and we always know that in wholesale company the margins are very high but the turnover the margins are very low but the turnover are very high okay second example i think now you are warmed up guess this company the company have a revenue of 10000 crores profit of 1200 crores asset employed of 13000 crores and equity of 9500 crores so what are the characteristics of business 
the characteristics of the business is the margins of 12%, the asset turnover of 1 times, 0.8 times, the leverage of 1.4 and return on equity of 14. So it's very difficult at this point of time to guess what is the company. But can we guess by these numbers what is the characteristics of the company? Somebody says manufacturing companies. Why? Logic. So one of you have answered that this company characteristics is like a logic. Okay. Your answer is uh, right that the S, uh, this is uh, asset turnover is low and large equity. So we need to see relative which is my sales divided by assets. Okay. What all you can see? The leverage of 1.39. What does it mean? It means that the company being a manufacturing company is very conservative. That is, they do not borrow much. And this leverage or S is including the current liabilities. Okay. This is, of course, as we have rightly said, is a cement manufacturing company <laughs> and the name of the company is Ambuja Cement. So here, what is the characteristics of the business? The characteristics of the business is that they, the use of assets is comparatively higher to generate the sales. So asset turnover is low, but being a manufacturing company, the profit margins are higher. And Ambuja being a multinationals, they are conservative and do not borrow much from the market. Now, the last one. The firm of a revenue of 10,000 crores, profit of 1,600 crores, the asset base is 1,10,000 crores, and the equity is 7,000 crores. Can you send something? Revenues of 10,000 crores and assets of 10, uh, 1 lakh crores. The PAT margin is 16%. The asset turnover is only 0.1x. The leverage is 16 times. And the return on equity which is average ROE is 25 percent. Farm, say, uh, try to focus on this point, leverage of 16 times. Somebody have written pharma or IT, ane, but ane, pharma or IT we have seen that they do not have any, this one, railways, very interesting answer. Uh, railway have some characteristics which you have shown uh, and you are very close. I uh, appreciate your lateral thinking, but uh, railway is not the correct answer. The answer is uh, different. One of you have said railway leverage is not high. Correct. Aviation, very, very interesting comments. Uh, this can be aviations, but generally aviation we have seen that they do not make profit. So in aviation profit of 25% or ROE of 25% is unheard of. Mining, mining people generally don't employ so much of a leverage. And one more thing, in mining, you don't have so much of an asset. Mining, you have a mining lease, okay, but not an asset. For example, Coal India. Coal India is the largest mining company in the country, but they do not have a, have a asset. 
somebody uh, Rahul Singhani I have said finance company excellent Rahul such kind of leverage of 16 times only happens in a finance company because in finance company they are in the business of borrowing funds and lending funds so excellent Rahul it is indeed a finance company and one thing which I wanted to highlight that in a finance company or in a bank the top line which they say is they always say a net interest income less interest expense so just to see that I am having a 1 lakh crores of assets okay and my revenue is 10,000 so what does it mean is roughly they are lending the capital at 10% okay so the interest earned is roughly one tenth of my total asset base so it is an uh, excellent Rahul this is a finance company okay and since they are into the business of lending and borrowing <coughs> their raw material is also capital so they borrow money from other people and the borrowed money they lend to the customers okay and in between what they earn is the spread the hint the MD and CEO of the company is, is the president of association yes bank so as we have seen in the last three examples that uh, there is nothing by which we can say that uh, say pet margins of whether 1% one, 1 is good or pet margin of 5% is good or asset turnover of 3 is good or 6 is good so there is no one size that does fit all the analysis of each of these has to be done with respect to the underlying business business characteristics as the characteristics of businesses change from one industry to another industry so our analysis or inference also should be not a single criteria but it also should be dependent upon the characteristics of the business just to give a snapshot here we are showing three companies one is a Reddington which generally follows a wholesale model since they follow the wholesale models the pet margins or the margins in wholesale business is very less but the turnover is very very high and the leverage is also decent of 3.77 so here the low margin is being compensated by high turnover the other business is a manufacturing company cement manufacturing company Ambuja one of the best managed company in India uh, where we have seen the margins are decent but since it's a manufacturing company which employs a large amount of assets relative to sales so that asset turnover is less okay so the low asset turnover is being compensated by high margins or we can say that wholesale versus retail both of the model works wholesaler makes low margin but high turnover in retailers they make less margins but uh, high margins but less turnover and their capital investment is also large compared to this is and the third one is a leverage or financial entity where the turnover and pet margins are relatively lesser but they work more on leverage so what is the ultimate aim of any business the ultimate aim of any business is what just answer what why people do invest in business okay so if I tell me tell you what is the single th 
thing which you want to maximize while doing a business is max somebody have written a maximum profit see in that sense say the would you invest in the company which have a maximum profit so there are two companies one company is a small company and the other one is a large company okay say i give you an example of say a company like uh, an indian company a gati and the other company is say a ups of course ups is very large so their profit is very large can we say that we should invest in ups gati why see the decisions are always relative so somebody have invested 100 rupees and making a 10 rupees profit and somebody is invested 1000 rupees and making only 25 rupees profit so which one is better i am not trying to point about the business but a um, simple thing i wanted to ask you is it what is one of the ratio which you would look while taking an investment decision see the reliance profit is much larger than a pe higher than pv okay so higher than pv is what roe say you are closer higher than pv or roe we should look because it takes into account both what i am getting in and what i am putting in okay so the decision should always be relative that what am i getting and in order to get that what actually i need to put in or invest okay that is being given by roe which is return on equity say in one one share or in one investment i put 10 rupees and earn 2 rupees okay so i am making a profit of 20% but in another i am putting 100 rupees and getting only say uh uh say uh, i am getting uh 5 rupees so in one case i have earned 20% on my investment although the amount is small of 2 rupees but in the other case i am earning 5% although the amount is for 5 is larger than 2 but given a choice i would like to invest only 10 rupees and get 2 so it is always relative so how can i ma maximize my return on equity <coughs> so return on equity is what is the profit which i am getting and for attaining that profit what am i supposed to invest so one is profit by revenue into this is just a mathematical jugglery i can write profit by revenue into revenue by equities and i can further disintegrate revenue by equity into revenue by asset into this one for example i am doing a business say i am running a shop how i can increase my profit first is that i can increase my profit by either increasing my margins on the business that earlier i was making a profit margin of say 20% that i am selling a good set 10 rupees and my cost is 8 rupees so in the process i am earning 20% or 2 rupees per unit of sum i can increase my profit either if i increase my selling price or i am reducing my cost price so by that i may be able to earn more than 20% return so if i am able to <coughs> sell the same goods at 11 rupees cost being same so now by selling one unit i am making 3 rupees or i can sell the same quantity same unit at 10 rupees but i can reduce the cost say from 8 to 7 and half so in that case i can maximize my profit per unit of sales and sales remaining constants i can increase my profit for the shareholders